Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm here with the Bamboo Lab X1C and the all new Bamboo Lab AMS2 Pro. I've got four colors in here, and today we are going to use Bamboo Labs Maker Lab to create our very own flexi jiggly toy. I'm going to use a totally awesome photo of myself and Zora from Creality. Let's pop over to Maker World, enter Maker Lab, and make our own flexi toy together right now. But wait, what if you have a really large print job and you need dozens and dozens and dozens of models and getting them done on your one home printer just isn't going to cut it. Well, there's a company you can send your file to that will print all of your work for you and ship it to your door. That company is today's sponsor, PCBWay. Known for being the best in PCB fabrication, PCBWay also specializes in 3D printing. They can handle all your projects from resin to FDM, including all the usual materials, nylon, PLA, ABS, PETG, TPU, PC, ASA, even metal materials such as aluminum, stainless steel, titanium, and more. Many thanks to PCBWay. And now, let's get back to work. Switching over to Bamboo Studio. Here I am in Maker World. This is MakerWorld.com. On Maker World, you will click here to enter Maker Lab. In Maker Lab, look here for Flexi Toy Maker and press Start. Once in here, click Create from Blank. That will present you with this screen. You will want to drag and drop an image onto this screen. I am going to use this amazing picture of me and Zora. To make it easier for the app, I am going to edit it a touch. I am going to crop this image using a tool to remove as much of the background clutter as possible and frame this image in a way I like. Drag that file here. When presented with this screen, you may go ahead and crop it right here as well. To zoom in, you'll grab this little slider and help frame it even better. Once things are framed the way you'd like, you can decide if you want this entire image to be a flexi or just the subject. I'm assuming most of the time you'll want just the subject. To separate the subject from the background, go ahead and press Remove Background. And there we have me and Zora. Should you find any of these details are missing, return to your favorite photo editor and work with this file to add contrast, exposure, saturation, or even sharpness to try and get these details to be stronger and more easily picked up by the app. We are making a jiggly toy, so the extreme details aren't terribly important. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and press confirm. This will create a 3D model from the current image. And here we go. You'll see Bamboo Studio has detected a whopping 15 colors. Most users are working with a single AMS, and we will go ahead and do that to be compatible with as many of you as possible. Grab this slider and scroll it down. If you have two AMS, choose eight colors. If you have one AMS, choose four colors. Of course, you don't have to use eight colors just because you have two AMS. You could use five or six colors. We will work with four. The auto color mapping tool will attempt to match up all of the remaining colors to a total of four colors. The auto color mapper has chosen color 1, 3, 15, and 10. Black, tan, gray, and blue. Not a bad choice. Do keep in mind we can overrule and change these colors. Go ahead and press next. Here on the next screen, you can see a more clear example of the remaining colors, beige, gray, blue, and black. 
because of the sacrifices made using so few colors. The representation on the screen might not be exactly what you want. On this screen, we can highlight all the individual sections identified by the color mapper and make a few changes. Let's look at her pants. Zora's pants are actually blue. Here, we have a lot of blue and black. The key features here are her sneakers. You can see they're represented here in blue. I will click that section and press number four, making them black. I'll then click into other sections of her pants and we'll change them to blue. When working with so few colors and an image that had so much color, you will have to make some detail sacrifices. Once you are happy with this, go ahead and press confirm. Pressing confirm will drop your model onto a plate. The default plate is the A1 Mini. If you are working on a larger printer, such as the A1, P1, or X1, you can grab this corner right here and make this model bigger. Of course, you may also scale this model in Bamboo Studio. This jiggly toy might actually be a little huge. I'll go ahead and bring it back down. We need to now turn this into a jiggly toy. We'll do that by adding hinges. However, there are a few other changes we can make. For example, we can add a stroke. A stroke will be an outline of the model in a specific color. This helps highlight the visual of the graphic. I'm going to go ahead and add a stroke right here of 0 0.05. And since her headband is gray, I'm going to bring out that gray color by adding the stroke color right here to number two of gray. The only gray in the entire image is her headband. So it will make this whole image stand out well without blending into any of the other color details. Currently, the thickness is set to eight millimeters. I'm going to go ahead and reduce this to six millimeter just for the sake of demonstration. When you press preview right here, it'll convert this to a 3D model and drop it on to a virtual bed. In my experience, this service error has been popping up. I go ahead and press the X button and it does appear that it actually worked. And you will see it mirrored the image putting the actual front side on the reverse. This will give you a nice clean first layer when you flip this over after printing. One thing also worth noting is the middle color. You will see it's the skin color of tan. I am going to switch that middle color to number two gray. Here we have that new gray color. It blends nicely with the stroke border and will look really clean without having to make an additional color change. I'm really happy with what I see here. When you are happy with your model, you will want to add hinges. Go ahead and click right here on the hinge button. You have two choices, thin, medium, and thick. I am going to go with thin. To insert hinges, you will create slices across the model in which the hinge will be applied. We do that by creating start and stop points across the model. Let's make a few now. I will create a hinge across my hips. I will create a hinge just below my knees. Click, drag, click. I will create a hinge across my ankles. Click, drag, click. Let's do the same for Zora. Click, drag. You see here it's red. It doesn't like this hinge. Completely across the segment, it now turns green. Click again. Knees. And right here, just on this foot. And I'm gonna do it on this foot. And there we have it. We have now turned Zora and myself into a model with jiggly legs. Should you want to preview what this looks like, you may go ahead and press preview. However, because of the potential wait time, I am not going to do that. I am going to trust in my work. 
There are other options we can play with, such as the hole tool and the hook tool. They do exactly what they sound like. The hole will create a hole in the model. When you click the hole tool, it will place the hole here in the center of the model. You can then set the size of the hole by dragging it or dragging here. You place the hole onto the model and when you download the model, that circle will become a hole in the model. The hook tool does the same thing. However, it adds a hook. It places a hook above the model wherever you place this marker. For example, right here will render a hook above my head. To move the model around, hold your mouse wheel and you can shift the entire bed around. To zoom in, scroll your mouse in and out. I am happy with our project and it's time to download our 3MF file. Click download, choose the printer you wish to print on. I'm going to choose an X1C and the nozzle size you intend to work with. Of course, you can go ahead and use this 3MF file on other machines. However, this will create a profile for that printer you plan on working with, saving you some steps and helping you obtain success. Press confirm. On this screen is very important. You need to download the 3MF file. The STL file will simply be the model. If you want the color, profile, etc., you need the 3MF file. Clicking here will download that file to your download folder. Once you have that file created, you may go ahead and close out of this screen. Your project is saved and in Flexi Toy Maker, you can return to it at any time. Open up Bamboo Studio and go to Create New Project. Drag that 3MF file onto your bed and you will find that 3MF file has imported the printer, nozzle, and filaments for you. The file is mirrored because you'll be using the print bedside as the top of the model. I am going to switch into global properties and set a few items manually. First thing I'm going to do is lower the resolution of the model in hopes of getting better detail in our facial features. I'm going to go down to 0.16. I'm going to pop into speed and slow things down. The first layer is critical since it will be the top of our model. I'm going to slow that down to 50. Everything else has already been set fairly slow, but anything over 150, I'm going to reduce to 150 because I'm not concerned about saving 10 minutes. I'm concerned about success and quality. Here in the strength section, if you are going to make several of these, experiment with less walls and less infill to save yourself time in materials. Find the best balance for the strength you need. If you are making only one, you can go all in and make darn sure it's strong and functional. To do that, I'm going to choose three wall loops. I'm going to check detect thin walls. In case any of these walls are too thin for three, it will then use less in order to successfully print. Infill of 15% is likely strong enough to handle the abuse. Let's go ahead and slice this model and set it to filament. Here we can see our four filaments. We've got a four hour print time and 44 filament changes. Right here, we can scroll down through our layers and have a peek at the inside. This is our 15% gyroid. Getting a little closer, here are the hinge joints and here, one, two, three walls. This looks plenty strong to me. Let's go ahead send it off to our X1C and see how she does. I have loaded the printer with Bamboo Lab RFID Black 
Creality Hyper RFID Blue, Creality Hyper Gray, and Bamboo Lab RFID Matte Tan. I do suggest working with plastic spools whenever possible. However, certain manufacturers make their cardboard spools in such a manner that they are compatible with the AMS systems. We are printing from a Bamboo Lab AMS 2 Pro. Because some of these filaments are not Bamboo RFID, I had to set them manually. You can do this in Bamboo Studio or right here in the filament screen. Touch the pencil to the corresponding slot. Choose the manufacturer. If it's not listed, press generic. Choose the material. PLA, choose the color, blue, and press confirm. Having these configured properly helps the machine and AMS communicate with Bamboo Studio so you are sure you are working with the correct filaments, in the correct colors, in the correct slots, and don't make mistakes when sending your print job. With everything set up, it's time to send our print from Bamboo Studio. Let's go ahead and send this print to our printer. Press print plate. Here on the screen, make sure the correct printer is chosen. Make sure the correct bed is showing. Here is your AMS, slot one, black, slot two, blue, slot three, gray, slot four, tan. If this is correct, move along. If it's not, use the pull down menu to select the correct slot each corresponding color is in. Mine is correct. I'll go down here. We will leave time lapse on. Because there's lots of little detail, we will leave flow dynamic calibration on. And because there's a large flat surface, I'll leave auto bed leveling on. If everything looks good, go ahead and press send. It looks absolutely fantastic. Let's get it out and check it out. And here it is, our flexi toy of me and Zora taken at the Creality anniversary party at TCT Rapid in Detroit in 2025. Let's pop it off the bed so we can flip it over and see the real surface. Here it is. It came absolutely fantastic. I can't wait for Zora to see it and I can't wait for you to make one. This is the textured bed side and this is the top side. Both sides came really nice and I'm super excited this tool works. And there you have it with Bamboo Studio, Maker Lab, and AMS2 Pro, and the X1C. And one of my own photos, we have 3D printed our very own Flexi Toy. I'm Mr. Greg. Some people call me Mr. G. This is a Bamboo Lab Maker Lab Flexi Toy, and you are on 3D Rundown.